Welcome. In this video, I'll show you how to recover permanently deleted files and folders here in Windows 11. All right, if you find this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more such tutorials. Now, first up, if you haven't done so, go ahead and check your recycle bin. This is where your deleted files, all right, should be located if you haven't uh, deleted it like permanently. Or if you have uh, deleted all of your files right here from Recycle Bin, you can go ahead and go to your search bar and type in file history, like so, and click on this one, okay? If you happen to turn this on, well, you should be able to recover some of your files in here. But as you can see here, mine is currently turned off. But don't worry, if yours is turned off right here as well, we do have two more options, okay? So first up, go ahead over to your search bar and type in store. Now let's go ahead and go to Microsoft Store, okay? Wait for it to load, and once it loads, go ahead over to the search bar and type in Windows Recovery. All right, once that's done, just hit on Enter, and wait for the results to load. Now once it loads, you're gonna to wanna to find an app called Windows File Recovery. All right, you're gonna to wanna to click on Get, and just wait for it to install. Alright, once it's done installing, you can now go ahead and click on open. And there will be a pump pump, just click on yes. Alright, here's the command prompt. So what we're going to do here, you can go ahead and minimize this one if you want to, like so. I'm just going to maximize it, for, just for you to see. Alright, so in here, what we're going to type is first up, if the file was uh, stored on drive C, well we can go ahead and type in winfr. All right, space C colon, and of course we would need another drive. For example, you have a separate drive that is named drive D. As you can see here, we have the example usage. So the files from drive C that you wanted to recover will be going to drive D, okay? So if you don't have any uh, other drives in your computer, you only have a drive C, well, you will need a flash drive for this or an external drive okay so just go ahead and look it up on your file explorer right here if you have uh, entered a flash drive you can go ahead and locate the drive letter okay so if that's f go ahead and put an f all right so once done just hit on space and then type in forward slash it could be regular or extensive all right for the first scan i would suggest trying regular if it doesn't find the file that you wanted to recover, well, you can go ahead and try an extensive, okay? It says here, a thorough recovery option suitable for all file systems. So, if you want to scan all of your drive C, well, you can go ahead and just hit on enter and just wait for the process to finish, okay? If you want to be more specific, you can go ahead and put in space forward slash N and then Let's say, for example, that you have deleted a file from your desktop, okay? From here. So what we're going to do is find the desktop's directory. So normally, we would go to a drive C and then go to users, okay? Now, your username, all right? And then go ahead and find desktop, all right? If desktop isn't available, you can go ahead and use OneDrive, okay? There you go, we have desktop. So what we're going to do here on our command prompt is that you're going to want to type in or just copy the directory right here at the top, all right? This is your desktop. Tick, then copy users only. Don't put drive C, okay? Users, your username, OneDrive or desktop, okay? Copy, paste. All right, now once that's done, if you want to be more specific, you can go ahead and put in space and then forward slash n, space again, asterisk, all right, I'm sorry, don't forget to add a backslash in here, okay, and then at the asterisk, what you'll do is just type dot, could be jpeg if it's a jpeg file, or docs, if it's a word file all right or another file extension maybe mp4 like so okay or pdf now, if you're happy with that just go ahead and hit on enter all right hit on enter 
and then it says here you're gonna want to hit on yes or no y for yes and for no just type in y on your keyboard and it's gonna scan just wait for it to finish processing it says here the file was saved to drive d recovery this is the folder miscellaneous and so on and so forth okay so let's just go ahead and check it out as you might remember we saved or transferred the recovered files to drive d from drive c so let's go ahead over to drive d right here recovery there you go you can go ahead and look into the pictures like so miscellaneous and documents okay there you have it now if that doesn't help you can go ahead and use another uh, recovery tool like from if you remember uh, CCleaner okay it's called recover like so recover just type it down in your uh, favorite browser and you can go ahead and click on Dell recover from CCleaner okay just click on it wait for it to open and uh, just go ahead and download the free version okay click on it download wait for a download page to pop up there you go i'm going to save it on my desktop save wait for it click on it to open it up there will be a pop up again just uh, click on yes and wait for it to open just hit on install click and wait for the installation process to finish from here you're going to go ahead and run the application hit on next and then from here it will ask you what sort of files are you trying to recover it could be all files pictures music documents a video compressed or emails okay so for example you just want to recover a document go to select document and hit on next now it will ask you where where the files right if you're not sure, you can go ahead and use this option or you can go ahead and use in my documents or in my documents folder or it could be from your cycle bin, okay? Or if you're quite sure where it was located, for example, on your desktop, you can go ahead and use in a specific location, click on browse and here go to um, local disk C users, again, your user profile and then mine was uh, OneDrive. There you go. Yours might be different. You'll be able to see your desktop from here. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and use OneDrive and desktop. Hit on OK. Next. Now for the first scan, again, don't use a deep scan for now. Okay. You can go ahead and use this one later if it doesn't find your file. Okay. This one is similar to extensive. This will take a ton of time. So just be patient. Hit on start and wait for it all right so as you can see here it doesn't give me any uh data but but if you have the same uh, result you can now go ahead and close this one or switch to advanced mode okay and check if there are any files from here if not again rerun recover and use the extensive mode that's basically it i hope by this time you have already recovered your deleted files well i hope this video helps and i'll see you in the next one.